hello guys welcome back in this video let's explore ellipse tool so here we in the toolbox we have the shapes uh, which are basically used to create uh, using paths so we have ellipse tool so to access that tool you need to click uh, generally you could see rectangle click and hold and then find this ellipse here or you can use a keyboard shortcut of U to access the tool and to cycle between the tools press shift U and cycle until you get the ellipse so I got the ellipse here so in when I'm creating this ellipse we have here is some preset which is uh, computer I okay let me just choose that and then click and drag it here and you should see you get you got something now uh, you could see here uh, this is achieved with uh, some gradient in the center in the fill and gradient in the stroke and you got this nice uh, layer so what we will do here is explore all of them so we have a shape uh, which will give me a path and fill in it so let me choose the shape first so in the fill you have uh, no fill which is going to give me no fill shape and uh, you have a solid color which will give me a flat colored fill now this is a flat colored fill and then we have gradient which is basically you can choose any one of them and then you get that fill in the center and uh, you have the pattern fill which gives you the pattern in center so you have different types of filling options and then you have uh, the stroke stroke also has uh, similarly fill options like I can take a solid color or a texture uh, or a pattern so you get that solid color fill and stroke with a pattern there and then you have the thickness for the stroke okay I'm going to choose other two point so you got a very uh, thin stroke there and uh, I would um, change the stroke type here to the dashed lines so let me choose uh, a blue color and then drag it then you should able to see you got a dashed line and if you just go down to more options dashed lines uh, there are three levels which is having the length and the gap option so let me choose uh, a length of two gap of three for the second length of five gap of three and then when i say okay then i i get a stroke which is having of three different lengths and different gap amounts and uh, also you have uh, the caps which uh, I can make it look more round you could able to see that so I need to select that and you should see uh, I can choose the way this uh, strokes are and also you can choose it to the center outside and inside of the stroke and uh, <coughs> we have corners I can't really show uh, what happens in an ellipse shape uh, in rectangle you can check the corners become rounded or beveled or cornered so there are three types here so there are three presets here you can choose any one of them the dots is because of the dash size is zero and uh, gap is two and caps to round so when you choose that let me show you how choose this and now go to the more options switch on the dashed dash size to zero gap to two and then make it round so that gives me um, you know so let me choose this to five and you could see a bigger one and let me choose this to three you get a smaller one so dash size is zero and then uh, make the caps round and you get this dotted line there okay so and then you can generally save that uh, preset here okay so you have all these options and uh, let me just see uh, what is this in the next so whenever you create an ellipse okay uh, you can control the 
uh, options of this ellipse by selecting the path selection tool and you can go to the properties section and then you could explore all these options here from uh, this properties panel so you have uh, width uh, and height which is there on both sides so I can choose uh, 1500 pixels and then this becomes an ellipse okay and when you choose the x uh, value to 0 and y value to 0 the circle touches uh, both the corners there so you have uh, um, that features and uh, let me check what's here so uh, I will choose a normal uh, stroke and uh, 5 point ellipse and then just drag it there you have uh, these all layers um, so you got new layer option you got combined shape subtract shape all that stuff so let me choose combine shape and then just drag another circle then you should able to see these two circles combine and the stroke is respecting the outline there okay and uh, we have uh, the subtract shape which will affect for the last one so let me che check this subtract and then drag it uh, sorry what I have really done is I did a mistake the mistake was like I was holding shift so if I want to subtract it I will just drag it and then put it there so while I am dragging hold shift uh, the problem was first shift uh, was actually adding it so first drag it hold shift and then alt and then put it there and it subtracts the shapes there uh, so these layers can be any time sent to back or front send it to back and uh, bring it to front you can do all that and uh, we have the align tool so I'm going to select this all circles and then align top edges and select uh, this three and align bottom edges and then move it and uh, you should get some crazy shape there so this is all we have in the ellipse and as i told you can explore the options in the properties also